granting and revoking privileges. We use the grant command to grant a privilege and we use the revoke command to take a privilege away. Here's the syntax for granting a privilege. The piece in red at the top is for granting a system privilege. So you grant a system privilege or a role or a group of system privileges and roles or all privileges to a user or role or public or a list of. You can also identify by a password with the admin option. The admin option implies that when you grant a privilege to another user with the admin option that they can subsequently grant it to someone else. Without the admin option they cannot grant it to someone else. Now the object privilege grant command section is highlighted. The object privilege version of the grant command is fairly similar to the system privilege apart from the fact that an object privilege is granted onto a list of columns in a table as in column, comma, column, on, schema, object, schema, table. Also, as opposed to being with admin option, it's now with grant option. Admin implies administration for a system privilege. With grant option implies it can be granted to someone else. So if one user is granted select privilege on a table to another user with the grant option, then that second user can then in turn go ahead and grant that same privilege on that same table to yet another user and so on. The main difference between a system privilege and an object privilege once again is that a system privilege is granted so that you can take an action with an object, you can create an object, drop an object, change an object. The object privilege is applied to columns in tables or entire tables. Here's an example of granting privileges. Again, this is the user create script for the concerts user, and down the bottom we had grant connect and resource to concerts. Then unlimited table space and query rewrite to the concerts user as well. Note that connect and resource are deprecated, they're just being used for demonstration purposes here. The revoke command is used to revoke privileges from users. Unlike the grant command, which states grant privilege to user. The revoke command obviously does it the opposite way around and says revoke privilege from user. So the revoke command is removing privileges from users. Obviously we have revoke system privilege and we have revoke object privilege. System privileges are revoked from users and object privileges are also revoked from users as applied to a particular object within a particular schema. Now let's go and do some granting of system privileges. I created the developer user. The developer user needs certain privileges to allow him or her to create and change database objects. So the developer needs things like alter any index, alter any procedure, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go through this list and select various privileges that we think this developer user may need. What I've done is to select a large number of system privileges appropriate for a developer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the allocation button and it tells me that it already has create session, but it pushes all the other privileges I've selected into my granted box. And this is just OEM, but this little thing on the left here is telling you that it has not as yet been executed, apart from the fact that when you click show SQL, which I did, I have all this text in this bottom box. This is all this text down here is, is basically all my grant commands. So I'm now going to grant a large number of privileges to the developer user. I'm going to click Apply. Now when I go back here, I find that all these privileges are granted. You note it now says granted, not grant. 
Now let's go and have a look at the system privileges I granted the developer. So I'm going to do is I'm actually going to connect the developer at my database. And I'm going to use a view called user sys privileges. It says username privilege admin option. So I'm going to select tell you what we'll do. We'll set wrap off. We'll set line size to something large, and we'll set pages to 80. As you know, wrap off will not wrap the end of the line around to the next line. Line size sets the length of the line to 132. Pages 80 means that the headings are repeated every 80 lines. The chances are we won't see the heading more than once. At least we won't see it every 10 lines, and it won't be unreadable. So let's select star from user system privileges. Since we're in developer, we're only going to see developer's system privileges. These are all the system privileges we allocated to developer in Oracle Enterprise Manager. 